In this video, I'm going to show you the media item defaults in Reaper. Now, as a quick review, everything we see in Reaper, all these clips, are called items or media items, whether they're audio or MIDI or even video. So to adjust the media item defaults, we'll go to our preferences. Go to options and go down here and choose preferences. Then we'll scroll down under project to media item defaults. These are the preferences we could adjust for dealing with our media items. And in this video, we're going to focus on the looping preferences in this section over here. This first option, which is on by default, is going to loop our items when we import them. So let's import this drum loop from my hard drive and drop it in. Let's make it a bit smaller. And if we trim it out, by default, it's going to loop. As we can see right here, these little triangles, these are each loops that we dragged out. And it's going to do the same thing on the left side of our item. If we drag it out over here, it's also going to loop. Now, if we don't want that behavior, we could right click it, go to item settings, and choose to unloop the item source. And now, if we drag it out, the item doesn't loop on the right side or the left side. But if we want this behavior by default, just turn this option or preference off. And now if we import that drum loop or any audio file we want, by default, it's not going to loop. Again, we can turn it on if we want by right-clicking and choosing it here, but it's not going to be on by default unless this preference is turned on, which it is by default. Now, the rest of these preferences work in a similar way. This one right here deals with new MIDI items. So they're turned on, and we create a new MIDI item, Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, just draw one here, now, if we trim it out, it's going to loop by default on the right side and also on the left side. But if we don't want that behavior, just turn it off right here. And now if we create a MIDI item, it's not going to loop on the right side or the left side. But again, we could right click it and turn on looping right here. But by default, it won't loop unless this option is on. And just like the others, it is on by default. Then this preference is for recorded items. So if we record some audio, by default, this is going to loop. If we drag it out on this side or this side. But if we don't want that behavior, just turn it off right here. And now if we record some audio, it's not going to loop on either side. Now there's one other preference that goes with this one. Time Selection Auto Punch Audio Recording creates a loopable section. So if we turn this option on and it's off by default, if we create a Time Selection Auto Punch, when we punch in, will be loopable afterwards, like this. So we can copy this and paste it over here. And now this piece will be loopable. But only if we turn this preference on and it's off by default. And then this option is for glued items. And if we put these two items together, and glue them, by default, this is going to loop. So if we drag it out, it loops. But if we don't want that behavior, 
just turn it off right here. And this option, just like the others, is on by default. Then this last preference is the same thing we'll find in the options menu. Go to options, right down here, trim content behind media items when editing. We could choose it here or choose it here, but it's off by default. So if we take two items and if we turn off auto crossfade over here and drag this one onto this one, they're going to mix together. So we're going to hear this one and this one at the same time. But if you don't want that behavior, we could turn on trim content behind media items when editing. And now, if we drag this item onto this one, they don't play at the same time. Instead, this item trims this one. So we pull it back, see how it's trimmed, and it works the same way on this side. If we drag this one over here, it trims this one. With the purpose being, we're only going to hear one item on each track at a time. But again, by default, this option is off. So if we drag our items on top of each other, we're going to hear both. But if you want them to trim when editing, just choose this option right here. Or go to the Options menu and choose it here. Now if we drag this item over, it trims this one. And again, this is off by default. And then right over here, we've always trimmed content behind Razor Edits. And this is on by default. So if we create a Razor Edit and move it over to here, it's going to trim these items to make room for this one. As you can see right here, it cut a hole in this item. But if we don't want that, just turn this option off. Now if we move it over to here, it doesn't cut a hole or trim the item. Both items are going to play at the same time, as you can see right here. But this is on by default, so it's going to trim when we let go of our razor edits. And this option is going to overlap and crossfade our media when finalizing the razor edits. So again, if we move it and drop it, it creates a hole in this item. But the difference is, if we zoom in, we can see it creates a crossfade where we let go of the razor edit. At the beginning, and also at the end. But again, this is off by default, and this is on. But just change it if you want a different behavior. So that's pretty much it. That's the media item defaults for looping in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.